Alright, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up and checking out a collection of Magic the Gathering cards I purchased off of eBay. And this one I'm super excited about. This one actually is an all foil collection of cards. It looks like there's a bunch of older foils in it. I definitely have a soft spot for older foils. So this will be a lot of fun to open up and check it out with you all. She's some really awesome beautiful cards with sweet art that is all foiled. Anyways, I bought this one off of eBay. Here is the listing that I bought it. If you can see the price of it, this is probably the most expensive lot I've ever purchased. It was $129.95 and $7.81. And then it just looked, uh, just, these were the pictures of it. And then this is it spread out. There's a whole bunch of rares in there, older rares, stuff like that. And I definitely have a softer spot for some older foils. So anyways, I'm super excited about this collection. I just want to open it up and check it out with you all. All right, let's just dive into it and have some fun. Let's see, where did I put the scissors? All righty. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. Hopefully you're staying cool out there. It's still pretty warm. Summer's still kicking on for a little bit longer. Anyways, I'm super excited about this collection, um, and uh, I'm just excited to see some of the older foils, some of the older art, and let's just see what we get inside. It said there's 700 plus foils, I think like 100 plus rares and promos, and I'm just really not sure what I'm going to get in here other than an awesome, an awesome collection. All right. Whenever you cut open boxes, just be careful. You definitely don't want to dig too deep in there with a knife or anything, or you could damage whatever you purchased. Let's just see, is there paperwork or anything like that? <laughs> Interesting. Let me pull out this paper. To err is human, to forgive <laughs> divine, neither of which is... Not sure what this is, but this came in there. Bizarre. <laughs> Not really sure. And then here is the collection itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to pull out some of these cards. They all look in really great quality. I don't want to like damage them or anything like that. Whoa. Right off the bat, the first rare I see is a foil rare. Some of these are going to have some curling problems, but that's to be kind of expected. And these definitely look like some older foils as well. A little bit of curling, but what can you expect with these older foils? Super excited about them. Not sure if there's a way to uncurl them, but we'll kind of go through it and, and see. Pull these out. Some 8th edition. See a couple promos. Awesome. Super excited about this collection. Super excited about this collection. That's a whole lot of foils. That's a whole lot of foils. That's super awesome. Anyways, I guess just to like go through some of the piles. Some of these are definitely uh, curled, as you'd kind of expect for these older types of foils. I'm just going to go through this pile first. All right, let's see. The first one I got is Guzzleback Martyrs. This one is from, I believe, Shadowmore to Trample with Persist. It's a 5-2 creature right there. I'm going to set aside piles of common, uncommon, and rare. Looks like I got a rare. I got Necromancer's Covenant. Three, a white, and two black. When it comes into play, remove all creature cards from target player's graveyard from the game. Then put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token for play. For each card removed this way, zombies you control have a lifelink. Cool. Uh, I can't remember what set this is. It's like a Lara Reborn or something like that. And that one is a rare. Looks like I got uh, Myla's Ar Arza? Aura. Red, green, and white. Being of your upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature control. If you control a creature with 5 or greater, and 10 life. If you control a creature with power 10 or greater, then you win the game. Wow. Oh, then you win the game if you control a creature with power 20 or greater. Bizarre. I'm just going to kind of go through these and stop on the ones that I feel are worthy. Probably the rare stuff like that. 3, 2, blue, and a 2, black. Got Soul Quake. Return all creatures in play and all creature cards in graveyard to their owner's hands. Bizarre. These ones are very straight, these foils. I okay, got a Brain Bite. Awesome. I'm going to stop on art that I really like too. Got lower scale, uh, Colty, some sort of snake. Whenever you draw a card, put a woman counter on it. That's pretty cool, actually, because you draw a card every turn. Earthsworn Shield Mage. I'm not sure if they're going to be in order of any kind. Got Winged Kotal, another snake with Death Touch and Flying. It's expensive. Flying, Death Touch, and Flash. It's a 1-1 one, one for one, a green, and a blue. But, I mean, it has Flash and Death Touch, I guess. You can pretty much use it as a removal. Crystallization, look at that card. Any combination of blue or green and a white. Can't attack or block. 
And when it becomes a target spell or ability, you remove that creature from the game. That's fun. Got Stormblade. Got some zombies going on. Awesome collection, honestly. Grixis Grimblade. I know some of the older foil commons and stuff can be quite a bit of money. Got Jund Hackback Hackblade, which, I, which doesn't really make sense, but I, I guess I guess. Got Vectus Dominier. Shield of Righteousness, white and a blue. Equip creature goes plus zero, plus two, and Vigilance. Um, when it blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap, turns to control its next untap step. Got some ropes on the shield right there. This is some cool art right here. I can't remember this set. I think it's like one of the Alara, Shards of Alara, or something like that. If you know, let me know in the comments. I really can't think of it. And that one was Skyclaw Thrash. Colossal Might. Breach of Malgafor. Sangrin Backlash, Stormcaller's Boon, God Tracker of Jund, Messenger Falcons flying in the sky, two a green or a blue and a white. When it comes into play, draw cards, a so two two with flying. Grixis Shorgeners, Velkin Ghoul, Veldakin Ghoul, Leonite Armor Guard. Now it looks like I'm onto another set with a little bit of curling. I'm not sure if there's a cure to fix curling curled cards but we'll we'll see got a mud mold drifter what is a shadow more or something like that four and a blue when it comes to play draw two cards wow it's a two two and you can, it has evoke so if you want you can just play it for its evoke cost but when it comes to play you sacrifice it so you can play it just as a card draw if you want that is a common actually looks like you got a rare sarah sphinx flying in vigilance three and two blue so it's like a blue sarah angel oh this is from like uh what is this Dimensions or plan shifts were kind of they flipped around sets like colors and stuff. Interesting. Our romance is uh, guys. Cool. These ones are definitely a bit warped. A building oddity, but I think that's just normal for cards of this age. I think they just do that. Uh, Riptide Pilferler. When it deals combat to a player, uh, combat damage to a player, draw a card. It has a morph for one blue. Got brute force. Got Mysoderm, Firefright Mage, got some zombies right here. Yeah, these ones are a bit bent. Brain Gorgers, three in a black. When you play Brain Gorgers, any player may sacrifice a creature. If it does, counter Brain Gorgers. And it has a madness cost for one and a black. It's a 4 2 creature. Wow, it has a madness cost. This is from, what is this? I can't remember this set right here. Sandstorm Edion. Eldian, Simic Initiate, Skullmead Cauldron, gain a life, uh, tap, uh, discard a card, gain three life. Crazy looking foil cauldron. These foils are beautiful though. Absolutely beautiful. Stealing Stance, got two of those. Shielding Palax, Vine, uh, Vigan Intuition. Maccabee Waltz, they reprinted that one relatively soon. Entropic Edilon, got Drevac, one in a black. When it comes into play, sacrifice it unless you discard a non-creature card. It's a 3-3 three, three for two mana. Hmm. Rakdos Ink Spitter, got a Hydropon, Sandstorm Edilon, got a Hydropon again. Set this by the other Hydropon. Azorius Ether Mage, one, a white and a blue. Whenever a permanent is returned to your hand, you may pay one if you do draw a card. So one one. Then you can get back some uh you can get some some worth out of returning cards to your hands. Stealing stance. I think there was a couple of these in the past. Let's see. Yeah, there's two more of those. Put it over here. Got a rag muffin. What a name. Two and a black, hellbent, tap, sacrifice a creature or land, draw a card, place ability only if you have no cards in hand, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. That's an uncommon. Well, look at these foils. These are bizarre. Are these like special foils or something like that? Why are they so watery looking? Got Azorius Guild Mage. Two, any combination of two white and blue. Two and a white, tap target creature, two and a blue, counter target activated ability, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Interesting, these ones are... Definitely some sort of different feel. I'll set them to the side. I'm not sure if they're promo or something like that. Got Azorius Fist Wing, Enigma Elian, got the uh, Hydropon again, 
got riot spikes. Enchanted creature gets plus one negative. I mean plus two negative one. <laughs> you got a gob horn rats. Look at those creepy rats. By Michael Stuffin. Nettling curse. Looks like I did get some sort of land. You got a Simic the Growth Chamber. Comes into play tapped. When Simic Growth Chamber comes into play, return a land you control to its owner's hand. And it has tapped at uh, green and blue to your mana pool. These are pretty cool because they can produce two different color lands. Or mana. Got Street Savvy. Stomp and Howl. Looks like someone squashed this bug. Destroy target artifact and enchantment. Squash. By Carl Critchlew. Street Savvy. Again. Got a Valor Made Real. Wow, beautiful art. Beautiful. Got Beacon Hawk. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like an infest. Like a full art infest still in a package by Pete Ventures. That's pretty cool, actually. Not really sure about this. It's not foil. Actually, there's like two cards in here. There's like two cards in here. I'm not sure what this is. I'll set that to the side. That's pretty cool. I have no idea anything about those full art sort of promos like that. This looks like some morning toot or something like that. I wonder if you can kind of unbend these foils. Maybe a little bit. Can you like set a big heavy book on them? Probably. Just go through it. this one as well. Got Necromancer's Covenant again. Actually we got this one. This was the first one that we got. Set that right there. I got a Moon Lace. There's some older foils. One blue target spell or opponent becomes colorless. Interesting. Got Veteran Brawlers, one in a red. Uh, can attack if defending player controls an untapped land. Can only block if you control an untapped land. It's a 4 4. Look at these old rares from Prophecy. And these ones aren't too bent. Beautiful. Those are awesome. Man, I love these older foils. They're beautiful. Got Deep Old Elder, two green. Uh, X to two green. Tap, discard a card from your hand. X target lands become forced into land of turn. So turn some land into forest. Beautiful kind of rainbow going on over here. Mercadian Mass going on. I'm going to set aside a, a pile for older, older foils with the older borders. Those are the ones that really call out to me. Look at this beautiful foil border on here. Uh, black from, uh, what is this, Onslaught. Two and a black. Enchantment. Uh, word of Waste. One, the next time you draw a card this turn, each opponent discards a card from his or her hand instead. That's pretty cool. Older card, I got Cemetery Puka. A spell shif shifter, one in any combination of blue and or two blue and a black. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, you may pay one. If you do, it becomes a copy of that creature and gains its abilities. Wow. Got wild pair. Looks like I got some sort of promo, a DCI promo. One, a green and a white enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two, plus two, and has trample. Whenever an enchant creature deals damage, gain that much life. I'll set this aside in, I guess, the promo pile. Got Gru Guild Mage. Is this a promo card as well? These have like very, very different foiling, these these couple cards. Um, not sure I'll set it here just because. I got Possessed Portal from Dark Steel. Eight mana, beautiful foiling right here. If a player would draw a card, that player skips the draw instead. At the end of each turn, each player sacrifices a permanent unless he or she discarded a card from his or her hand. Wow, beautiful card. I'll set this actually there. Got Culling Sun. Two, two white and a black. Destroy each creature for converted mana has three or less. A board wiper. Looks like I did get a mythic. This is some sort of mythic uh, promo from 2009. It is two, two black and two red. When it comes into play, discard a card from your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card. Discard this way. Oh, discard your hand. Okay, six, six. Some sort of promo. Got ant queen. Make some insects. That's fun. Got paralytic feedback. A 10th edition rare. Scapelix, 4 and a blue. Flying. Whenever it deals common damage to a player, that player removes the top 4 cards of his or her library from the game. If two or more of these cards have the same name, repeat this process. It's 1 5, so if it's a land or something. A judgment rare. Beautiful. Love these old foils. Love the old uh, symbol right here of like the little glint. Breaking point, 1 and 2 red. Destroy all creatures unless uh, break a player has breaking point. Deal 6 damage to him or her creatures destroyed this way can't be generated. Extremely cheap board wipe if no one pays. Oh, look at these beautiful card right here. Beautiful card, the multicolor card from uh, Apocalypse. A Bone Tree Folk, one, a black and a green. Black and green. Bone Tree Folk gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. This is a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful. I'll uh, set this in the older pile.
We've got Slither Muse, two and two green. I mean, two blue, sorry. When at least play, choose an opponent. If the opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw equal to the difference. And as you vote for three and a blue. We've got Sigil of the Empty Throne. Make some angels. We've got Broodmaid Dragon. We've got Stonewood Invocation. We've got the Pegasus right here. It looks like the Earth is split in half. We've got Split Second showing the split. Target creature gets plus five, plus five until end of turn. It can't be targeted with spells or abilities this turn. So Hexproof and plus five, plus five for four mana. Got Spell Shaper. Look at these crazy guys. It's a Changeling. There you go. Changeling. It's every creature type at all times. I think it has Defender, but can attack as if it didn't. And two and a blue. Becomes a copy of Target Creature Control till end of turn. That's awesome. It's like a clone spell, a clone Changeling. Got Caven. A beautiful Mercany Max Rare. Three and two red. You may remove a red card in your hand in the game instead of paying Caven's mana cost. So remove a red card from the game. Deals two damage to each creature or player. That's a... That's an awesome card. It can be very powerful. Mythic Proportions. Rare from Onslaught, I believe, again. Uh, four and three green. Enchant Creature gets plus eight, plus eight, and a Trample. Wow, whole lot of mana. Give it Trample. A Judgment Rare. Two and two white. Creatures and lands you control can't be targeted with spells or abilities. Whenever a creature control attacks, sacrifice it. So as long as you're peaceful and you don't attack, your stuff has Hexproof. Got World Purger. Huge casting cost. Return all permanents to their owner's hands. Each player chooses up to seven cards in his hand. Uh, shuffles the rest into his or her library. Empty all mana pool. Wow. Ooh. Sorry about that. Something just went off real quick. Looks like I got another DCI promo card. Uh, Garard's Verdict. White and a black. Target player discards two cards. You gain three life for each land card discarded this way. What is this? Some of these have like very interesting foiling. I think the ones with very interesting foil are like promos. I'm just guessing I'll set them aside here. Got Earwig Squad. I'll set this here. Got another DCI promo. The Twin Claws. Beautiful. There we go. Classic Thorn Elemental from 7th edition starter. Beautiful. Got Thormscape Master. 2 and 2 green. Cool. Beautiful card. Uh, tap. Deals 2 damage to target creature. Uh, two white tap target creature gains protection with the color of your choice till end of turn. A ninth edition. I'll put ninth edition folds in this pile as well. These are interesting. I think it's very interesting that ninth edition had white border set, but when it foils, they're black border. It doesn't make sense. Tap all damage dealt to target creature this turn would be dealt to this card instead. Brass herald. This is great for like tribal. Great for tribal. Gives those creatures of whatever choice you want plus one plus one. And put all creatures, reveal the top four cards of your library, put all creatures that way in your hand, the rest of the bottom of your library. Uh, Sigil Tracker. A Mirfolk Wizard. What is this, Ravnica? Something like that. Ghost of Innocent, five and two white. If the sorcerer did damage to a creature or player, it deals half that damage, round it down to the creature or player instead. That's beautiful. So pretty much you can't die from damage. If you're getting attacked and you have one life, it deals half that damage, rounded down. And half of one rounded down... Actually... No, I think you still can die. <laughs> Sorry. Knight of Captain of Eros. Four and a white. When it comes into play, put two two white soldiers into play. White, sacrifice a soldier, prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn to two two. Riding his horse. Got a Cedric's Spectre. Beautiful. This is a beautiful. Whoa, looks like a, an Arabic card or Hebrew card. A promo card from 91. That's an older one for sure. Got Urza's Filter. Oh, this is a beautiful card right here. This is beautiful from Invasions. Four generic, multicolor spells, cost up to two less to play. That's a great card. That's a really great card. A little, little print dot or something on it right here. There we go. Actually, nothing on it. Wow, this is really great condition, too. Got Kuva Mauler. Four and two green trample. When it attacks, gets plus one, plus one to another turn for each other attacking Kuva. Great for Kuva Tribal. Rare from Odyssey. No, Odyssey. Apocalypse. Lightning Crafter. So actually quite a bit of rares. Got Borderland Behemoth. Trample gets plus four, plus four for each giant you control. Giant tribal, this thing will just become an even bigger giant. Got Punish Ignorance. White, two blue, and a black. Crazy casting cost. Counter target spell controller loses three life and gain three life. I think it's fun. I think uh, when you have cards with the crazy casting spells like this, you can definitely pick out the ability of each color. Like the blue counters the spell. Um, the white gains you life, and the black uh, makes them lose life. I love cards like this. It really, you can really figure it out. Got a Kedrickin, it's some sort of Leviathan. Pew. 
Got a Spellbound Dragon. When it attacks, draw a card, then discard a card. It gets plus X plus zero until I turn where X is discarded card, man is cost. That oh, can be pretty big. Got Cycl uh, Kithoblast Rootkin. Hm. Look at this card. Crazy looking armor here. Rainbow kind of garment. Interesting, uh, like blue and white smoke around it. It's enchantment for one white. Basic lands each player control can't be targeted spells or abilities as long as player controls three or fewer lands. Protect your lands from, um, what is this? Prophecy. Got Lava Runner. One and two red. Wow, there's a whole lot of cards here to go through. Haste becomes target of spell or ability. Uh, sacrifice a land. Interesting. Got Death Pit Offering from Judgment. No, not... Is it Judgment? I can't remember. No, Nemesis. Two and two black. Comes into play. Sacrifice all creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Beautiful art by Pete Ventures. Wow. Love the look of the older foils. Got a thistle down liege he's riding some sort of pig this goblin person very bizarre one any combination of white uh three white or blue flash other white creatures you control get plus one plus one other blue creatures you control get plus one plus one it's one three with flash that's beautiful on to some other cards got death greeter goblin death riders bone splinters ooch got uh, silencers shadow Feed, and these are all foil. It's, it's incredible. You got Blood Cultist. These ones have a bit of a bend to them. I'm going to look up. There's a way to remove it. I feel like if you just set a heavy book on it, you might help. Guardians of Akrask. Got Crumbling uh, Necropolis. Let's see. What comes into play tapped? Add uh, blue, black, or red to your mana pool. That's pretty cool. Set this in the non basic land pile. Wasn't sure if there's going to be non basic lands or not. Tide Hollow Strix. Got a right ring, uh, wind right mage, beautiful white hair. Naya charm, these charms are interesting. Uh, red, green, and a white. Choose one, deals three damage to target creature, or return target uh, card in the graveyard to its owner's hand, or tap out creature's target player controls. Really great, whole lot of abilities you can do for it. I like the cards that say choose one. Bent battle mage, angels herald. Got Relic of Progenesis. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty decent common as well. Target player removes uh, a card in his or her graveyard from the game. One, remove Relic of Progenesis from the game. Remove all graveyards from game draw card. I'm pretty sure that's a really good common. I'm just going to set that over there. Got Oblix of Bant. Got Marble Chalice. Executioner's, Executioner's Capsule. What does this card do? One black. It's an artifact. Sacrifice it for one and a black and tap. Destroy target on a black creature. That's pretty cool. Jungle Weaver. Another Obelisk. Got Esper. Battle Mage. Exo Communicate. Magma Spray. Wooly. Thor. Uh, Thoktar. <laughs> it's a 5 4 beast with giant horns flying at you by Wayne Reynolds. Obelisk of Brant. Adds green, white, or blue to your mana pool for three mana. A Wooly Thor cast again. Sanctum Gargoyle. Got a rare Ooze Garden. One in a green. Enchantment. One in a green. Sacrifice a non-Ooze creature. Put an XX green Ooze creature token to play where X is sacrifices creature power. Place ability only any time you can play a sorcery. That'd be cool if you could play it at instant speed. Because like during the blocking or something like that, you can destroy it. Wow, there's a... Look at... I just got to pull this foil aside. Wow, look at this foil. This is fantastic. That's a crazy like warrior. Beautiful foiling. Love it. Look at the detail on that by Glenn uh, Fabry. Beautiful. You can pump it up, but you can only pump it up once. Otherwise, you'll kill it because it gives it a plus one, negative one for one and a red. Sorry, that was just a beautiful card. I had to see it. Another rare right here coming on. Got Skill Borrower. Play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is an artifact or creature, it has uh, the activated abilities of it. It's a 1-3. That's really cool. That's really cool. So if it's an Ornithopter in the top of your library, that thing's an Ornithopter. Uh, Demir Houseguard. Disembowel. Brutal. Demir uh, uh, Machinen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Stone Seer Hero Pent. Grayscale. Uh, yeah, Grayscale Gahalder. It's a crocodile with Island Walk for one blue to one one. Got Simic Spike. Destroy target land, add two red to your mana pool for four mana in uh, sorcery speed. Woodwrath Strangler. 
got Seed Spark. Is this like a promo or something like that? Not sure. He's got the symbol down there. Seed Spark. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. If green was spent to play, create two green uh, sprawling tokens. That's pretty fun. You can make some sprawlings if you pay green in it. Two of them, actually. Uh, Cyclope Snare. Three tap target creature, then return it to his owner's hand. Return this card to his owner's hand. Got Ember Mage. Oh, this is actually uncommon. So far, quite a bit of rares, actually. Got Civic Wayfinder. Got Sand Sour. Screeching Griffin coming at you. Golgari Guild Mage. Either any combination of two black or two green. Four and a black. Sacrifice a creature. Return, tar car return target creature card from grave to your hand. Four and a green. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. Return a creature to hand or make some counters on it. And it's a 2-2 two -two creature. Got Spark Mage Apprentice. Got Junk Troller. Four generic. Defender attack. Put target card in a graveyard on top of or on uh, bottom of its owner's library. It's 0 6. Interesting. Got Greater Moss Dog. Great card with Dredge. Alright, got more piles to go. Got Old Run Commando. What is it? Tarion? One generic. Looks like he's opening up a jar with all this mana flowing out of it. Comes into play, tap, two tap, sacrifice it, add two mana of any combination color to mana pool. When it's put into your graveyard from play, draw a card. So some card draw and two mana. Velcrin. Enchanter, you got Brain Spoil. Slesnia. Sagatires. Dark Heart of the Wood. This was a reprint of actually like um what is this? The dark. A green uh, black and a green. Sacrifice the forest. Gain three life. Enchantment. Beautiful art. Love the purple orb flying in the forest. You can see like a purple way, uh, pathway all the way to it. This tree even has purple stuff on it. By Mark Tennant. Beautiful art. Absolutely beautiful. Got Bell Bell Tower Sphinx coming at you. Goblin Fire Fiend. Rawr. Got Seed Spark again. Guardian of Vichu Yaz. Got Gate Hound for the gates. Got Wood Wrath Corruptor, three, two black and a green, Elemental Horror, uh, one black and a green tap. Target Forest becomes a four four black and green Elemental Horror creature. That still lands a three three, but you can turn your forests into creatures. That's awesome. Got Mind Moil, uh, four and a red enchantment. When you replace spell, put the card in your hand. Uh, put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library in order and draw that many cards. Wow, that's a whole lot of card draw every turn if you want. Uh, Snitches, got a spirit, what is this, winds and snitches, quick change, you got a siren, malevolent ancestors, ooh this is beautiful art right here, beautiful, trans, uh, transluminant, one in a green, creature dried shaman, sacrifice it for a white, put a 1-1 one -one spirit creature token with flying into play at the end of turn, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Got Perplex, Sun Home Enforcer, two, a red and a white, it's a giant creature, Tattered Drake, Regenerate for a black, Boros Recruit, so first strike for one red or one white, Courier Hawk, flying at you, flying in vigilance, got a Bloodbound March, two, a black and a green, whenever a creature play, creature spell is played, each player returns all cards with the same name uh, as uh, that spell from his or her hand. His or her graveyard to play. Wow. Okay. So you play uh, Dredge Skeletons. You have a bunch in your graveyard. Put them into play. Got Rally the Righteous. Got a Aura Touch Mage. Got a couple of those actually. Gaze of Gorgon. Creepy looking art right here. Regenerate target creature at the end of combat. Destroy all creatures that blocked or are blocked by that creature this turn. Hm. Instant speed. Golgari Guild Mage again. Bar uh, Barbarian Rift Cutter. Stasis Cell, Tidewater Minion, Perplex again, got Haunted Troll, 2-2 two two green, when it comes into play, put 4 fairies into play, blue fairies, um, under target opponent's control, and regenerate, wow, that's crazy, so your opponent gets 4 uh, blue fairies with flying, but this is a 4 mana, 8-4, with regenerate for a green, that's impressive, got Hour of Reckoning, 4 and 3 white, Destroy all non-token creatures and convoke. That's pretty cool. Randy Gallagher drew that. What set is this? I can't remember this set. Four and a red. It's a 5-2 beast. Uh, Cranceurus. And you can pump it up in the defense region. Avian Squire. Ember Weaver. 
Nakatal, Savage. You got a Cat Warrior Protection from Artifacts. One in a green, it's a 2 1 creature. Ember Weaver again. I'll set this by the other Ember Weaver. Toxic Iguana. It has Death Touch as long as you control a green permanent. One red, it's a 1 1 draw. That's pretty cool. What is this? Uh, Alchemist going on right there. A Zombie Wizard. You got a Fungus Guy. Boom. Rocks Meditation. Another Savage again. I'll set this by the other one. Here we go. The ones from these set are not too bad, actually. Rotting Rats. The poor rats. They're rotting. They got a hole in them. One in a black. When it comes into play, each car each player discards a card and has unearthed it. So 1-1. One, one. That's pretty cool, actually. Fairy Mechanic. A Mechanist. Building his contraptions. Zombie Outlander. Protection from green. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Interesting. Protection from green. <laughs> Canyon Minotaur. Got a Telmin Performance. 3 and 2 blue. Target opponent reveals cards from the top of his or library until she reveals a creature card. That player puts all non-creature cards revealed this way into his or graveyard. Then he put that creature card in play under your control. That's a fun card. That's awesome. If you're playing against a deck where they don't have any creatures, wow, they pretty much milled their whole deck. Got a Mana Force at Malice. Got the Hunt Pride. Hellkite Hatchling. It's a dragon with Devour 1. And uh, flying and trample as long as it has devoured a creature. Well, look at this fusion elemental. It's an 8 8 for 5 mana, one of every color. Got the white, blue, black, red, and green. It's like a sliver. Got a couple of those actually. Alright, that was the first pile. I'm going to set these just a little bit over here just to make some room for other stuff. Alrighty. There we go. Let's see how this is going. And then I'm just going to go to this pile right here. Just because my piles of rares and uncommons and comments that I started are a little bit hefty. Got a, a squander spider. Got a Uthden troll. What is this? Uh, time shifted. Regenerate Uthden troll. I like these cards because they're even newer, but they have the old border feel. Love that. I'm gonna set those aside. Got demonic uh, collusion. A rare. I don't know if this is rare or not. Don't know. So it's just gonna hang out there. Demonic conclusion. Tectonic Fiend. Spinneret Sliver. Love Slivers. All Slivers have Reach. One in green for two mana. Hunting him. Terramorphic Expanse Tap. Sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic land card. Put them into play. Tap. Shuffle your library. So it is like an Evolving Wilds, but with a different name. How fun is that? Ashcoat Bear. Got the Bears. Bear Tribal. Bone Splitter Sliver. Beautiful. Skittering Monstrosity. Got a Orvatog. Beautiful. Uh, one in a white. Sacrifice an enchantment. Or targets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Those time shifted cards are pretty fun, to be honest. Um, this one goes here. Gotta get my piles in order. Alrighty. Got Errant Ephraimon. What a Phelion of Havenwood. A rare two green. Legendary creature Elf Druid. Each fungus gets plus one, plus one for each spore counter on it. Black and a green, remove a fungus card uh, in, play, in a graveyard from the game. Put a spore counter on each fungus in play. It's a 2 2. That's cool. A rare Pendlehaven Elder. Drudge Revelers. Githu Firebrand. Fire Breathing. Got Errant again. Blazing Blade Ascari. Slipstream Serpent. Got Sprout Sprout. Put a 1 1 green sprawling creature token into play. Got Ghost Ship. Wow, this is cool. Foil Ghost Ship. That's from the dark, definitely. Two and two blue. Flying and regenerate for three blue. Two, four. This is fun. These time-shifted cards are absolutely fun. I didn't know they'd be in here. Got Valor. Uh, what is this, from Odyssey or something like that? It's got the symbol up there for flashback. Three and a white. First strike as long as Valor's in your graveyard. Um, and can you control planes? Creatures control a first strike. This is awesome. If you control planes and uh, this is in your graveyard, you have first strike. Looks like um, future sight cards. Wow, would you look at that? I forgot. Future sight had crazy border cards. I'll set these aside as well just because they're so different. Storm Entity. Set this here. Got Homing Sliver. There we go. Homing Sliver. Each card has Sliver Stifling. That's awesome. Got Witch's Mist. Got uh, Sproloth Ancient. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a Spore Counter on the Ancient. Witch's Control have removed two Spore Counters. I put a 1-1 one, one Green Sprawling Creature Token into play. I love the crazy border on these cards. So bizarre. The mana cost is three, three and two green. It's a green card up top. 
That's the future sight symbol. It's a 4 4. Such a weird set. Uh, wrap in Vigor. Regenerate each creature you control. Got an Impressor. Centaur Omni Reader. Sprouting Swarm. Wrap in Vigor. One in a green. Regenerate each creature you control. Cool. And there were some like full art ones as well, like this Nissa Courier. Just a 3 3 Centaur Warrior. Beautiful. Velkinen Ether Mage. Whip Spine Drake. Lead Fist going on right here. Got Bone Fetch. Cool. Defender Haste. Tap. Dis uh, draw a card, then discard a card. So 0 2. Got a Mesmetic Sliver. All Slivers have, when this permanent comes into play, you may uh, Fate Seal. This controller looks at the top card of an opponent's library. Then he or she may put that card on the bottom of the library. It's 2 2. Pretty much get a scry for them. Got Manic uh, Speculation. It's an uncommon. Got Ghost Fire. Colorless deals 3 damage to target creature or player. That's kind of cool. And then you got Zodiac Cavern. These are interesting lands right here. Uh, add one to your mana pool and has morph. You can morph this land into a creature. How fun is that? Got two of those. I'll put those in the land pile. Wow, wasn't expecting to see some uh, future sight in there. Love it. Got Rushwood Elemental. What is this? Five green trample. The beginning of your upkeep, maybe put a 1 1 counter on it. It's a 4 4 that can just keep growing from Arcadian Masks. Got a, got a Slayer going on right here. Two black, Shadow, Taxi's Turn of Able. I'm going to put these time shifted ones actually in the older pile. Here we go. Got a Hedge Troll. These ones look like they're some sort of weird promo. They have a weird foiling to them. Hedge Troll gets plus one, plus one as long as you control planes and regenerate for a plane. I'm going to set these in this pile here just because I don't understand. Got rocks from the starter. Beautiful. Got a Silken Fist Order. When it comes blocked, untap it. Got Flowstone Surge. The older rares. Love the older rares. Love the older border. So beautiful. Cool art right here. Eric Peterson. One in a black. Fading one. Enchant creature gets plus three, plus two. When at least played, destroy enchant creature. That creature was... Uh, creature can't be regenerated. Another rocks. I'll put this by the other rocks. Two rocks. How cool is that? Got Sprouting Vines. Got two of those. Vengeful Dead. Beautiful. Love the older foils. Just beautiful. Love the border of them. Love the feel. So much fun to check it out. Got Sliver Mirror. Or Silver Mirror. Alright. Berserker. What is this? Morden? Morden, I think. Got a Hover Guard. Oh, Kamigawa stuff coming up there. Cool. Night Soil Kami. Shrine of Fierce Chill. Can't block. It's got channel for one of the black. Discard it. Target creature can't block this turn. It's a 3-2. Cool. Got Battlefield Medic. Well. Got a Gust Cloak Harrier. 1 and 2 white. When it comes block, you may untap it and remove it from combat. That's cool. So you can attack with it, knowing that it doesn't have to die. Got Battling Craghorn. Beautiful. Feeding Frenzy. Fun R right here. This poor soldier fell into this pit of zombies. Two and a black. Target creatures. Negative X. Negative X in a turn. Where X is the number of zombies in play. Great for zombie tribal. Brood Hatch. Uh, Nekto. Wow, these are some great cards right here. Cabal Executioner. Two and two. Black. Beautiful. Choking Tethers. Love the foiling on these old blue cards. Fantastic. Look at the borders. Tap up to four target creatures, cycling for one and a blue. When you cycle, you may tap target creature. That's cool. Looks like I got uh, Future Sight again. Blade of Six Pride. Spirit and Doll. L a Loom Thread Field. So cool, these like Future Sight cards. Grinning Ingus. Boom. Storm Entity coming at you. Looks like I got a rare Molten Disaster. X in two red. Sounds like a disaster. It has a kicker for one one red. If the kicker was paid, it has split second. Molten Disaster deals X damage to each creature with flying and each player. Destroy those flyers and uh, creatures with flying. I'll put this in the rare. Got a Nomad. Beautiful full art thing. Another Molten Disaster. Another Malgafor. This is a promo. Actually, another. Actually, there's a playset of them, I think. Place it at those ones. I have no idea how the person I bought this from amassed all these. I wonder if they opened them all up. They must have been a huge Magic the Gathering player. Got Wind Reaver. Three, a white and a blue. It's a rare. It has white. Gains Vigilance on the turn. White gets plus zero, plus one until the turn. Blue. Uh, switch, power and toughness. And then blue, return to his owner's hand. It's an elemental. 
Got Palamanta, Plaxamanta, Empty of the Guild Pack, Enemy of the Guild Pack, Netting Curse, Rag Muffin again. Whoa, look at this crazy art right here. Beautiful. Zombie Druid. Pay one, add one mana of any color to mana pool. It's a 1 1 for 2 and a black. Creepy looking face. Very scary. All the mana colors in the hand. By Thomas M. Baxa. Beautiful. Stealing Stance. Got Scalper. Giant uh, Alley Creeper or Net Alley Creeper. Got Skull Mage Cauldron again. Had that one earlier. Got Thrive. Lizard People. Put one more counter on each of X target creatures. X and a green. Taste for Mayhem. Enemy of the Guild Pack again. Fertile Imagination. Brain Pry. Literally taking his brain out. There's like a dragon sucking his brain. Name an online card. Target player reveals his or her hand. That player discards a card with the name. If he or she can't, you draw a card. So even if you're wrong, you draw a card. Got a Wakestone Gargoyle, three and a white. Defender, creatures you control with Defender can attack this turn as well. I didn't have Defender, that's cool. I didn't know this card existed. Flying, three, four, you gotta pay for that though. One and a white for that ability. Uh, shield, Palax, Plax. Sporeback, Troll. Azurios, Guild Mage, got that one earlier. Got the Rats again, crazy looking Rats. Got the Herald, Plax Samantha again. Got the Beacon Hawk. Got Riot Spikes. Sky Hauser, Valor Made Real, Azurius Ploy, Prevent all combat damage this turn that will be dealt this turn. Prevent all combat damage that will be dealt to target creature this turn. Hmm. Interesting. Fertile Imagination. Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh, got a, a land. Rick's Mahdi Dungeon Palace. At 1 2 mana pool. One, a black and a red. Tap. Each player discards a card. Play this ability only time you can play a sorcery. Cool. Put that in the land pile. Veteran Glimmer. Ooh, got a splitting sliver. All slivers have first strike. Spitting that kind of green goo. Beautiful foiling, though. By Steve Ellis. Demonic Consultation again. I think that was... I think I have that one right here. Yep, got two of those. Got Fiery Justice. Oh, man. I've seen this card in the older set. I think from Chronicles I pulled it, actually. Um... Red, a green, and a white. Fire Justice deals 5 damage to fight as you choose among any number of target creatures and her players. Target opponent gains 5 life. Hmm. Another pirate ship. Oh no, this was the first. I never got a pirate ship. I had a ghost ship. 4 and a blue. Love these time shifted ones. Love the old border. Human pirate. Pirate ship. Can't attack unless defending player is on an island. It needs water to go over there. Tap. Deals 1 damage to target creature player. Shoots his cannonballs. What do you control? No island. Sacrifice it. It's a 4-3 by Tom Wanderstein. Cool pirate ship. Got a Clockwork Hydra. Pyrexian Totem. Word of Seizing. 3 and 2 red. Split second. Untap target permanent. Gain control of it until end of turn. It gains haste until end of turn. Cool. Got that split second. Sulfurous Blast. Got a Forasian Totem. Creepy looking red guy standing guard. 3 mana. Tapped Ed Red to mana pool. 4 and red. Becomes a 4 4 red giant artifact creature token with trample until end of turn. As long as it's a creature, it can block an additional creature. Wild. That's a wild card. Got a Fire Makuva. Fortune Thief. Four and a red. Damage that would reduce your life to less than one. Reduce it to one instead. That's really cool. It's a morph for two mana. Two red mana. Zero one. Protect you from damage of dying. This lady is dodging the arrows. Cool. By Christopher Moyer. Undying Rage. Nantucko Shaman. This insect shaman is just... Busting through this ether wall, it looks like. When it comes into play, if you control no tap lands, draw a card, and it's a spend one. It's a 3 2. Skulking Knight. Cool. Thrill of the Hunt. Target creature gets plus one, plus one to end of turn, and has a flashback for one white. Ether Web. Dirk Wood Trackers. Got Fungal Reaches. Uh, tap, add one to your mana pool. One tap, put a sword counter on Fungal Reaches. One, uh, remove X sword counters from Fungal Reaches. Um, at X in any combination of red or green to mana pool. Cool land. Got Herald Nar. Got a Fortune Thief again. Dusk Rider. Uh, Prengen. Spirit Loop. The snake is coming right out for you. Aspect of Mongoose. Looks like a Calciform Pools. Very similar to the Fungal Reaches, except it adds white or blue to your mana pool. Uh, Viscerned Deep Walker. Cool. 
Looks like you got Bad Moon. This is a great card, actually. Uh, one and a black. Black creatures get plus one, plus one. It works board wide, so if your opponent is black, they get creatures that are stronger, too. Bad Moon, it's a foil. Awesome. Jesper made for us. You got the, the moon. It's got a bad face on it. That's awesome. That's an awesome card. Got Flame Core Elemental. Got Fungal Reaches again. I'll set this actually by the other Fungal Reaches. Zealots Ilvik. Screeching Sliver. Great. It gives your slivers tap. Target player puts a top card of his or her into his or her graveyard. Undying Rage. We've got a Mind Lash Sliver. All slivers have one. Sacrifice this creature. Each player discards a card. Got Watcher Sliver. I love seeing slivers. Two Headed Sliver. Watcher Sliver gives all your slivers plus zero plus two. This gives your slivers. This creature can't, can't be blocked by two more creatures. Oh, this is a great sliver right here. Gem Hide Sliver. One and a uh, green. All slivers had. Ap tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Absolutely necessary for sliver decks. Quilled Sliver got two of those. Tap. Target creature deals one damage to target attacking blocking creature. Punctual Blast. I'm not sure what set this is to be honest. Oh, these are actually uncommon. That's a great card. Gem Hide Sliver. Got Punctual Blast, Shell, Skulkin, Hearth Clash, Slender, Double Cleave, Stream Hopper, gains flying till end of turn. Crazy looking art. Steady Hatchling, what an interesting set. This I remember this set has a lot of multicolor cards. I don't remember the name of this set though. Comes into play with four negative one, negative one counters on it. It's a six six, so it comes into play as a two two. Whenever you play a green spell, remove a negative one counter. Whenever you play a blue spell, remove a negative one counter. Pay blue or green, get shroud till end of turn. Got Recumbent Bliss. Oop. Noggle Ransack. This, like, kind of donkey creature is digging through a chest. <laughs> when it comes into play, each player draws two cards and discards a card at random. For two, a red or a blue. It's a 2 1 creature. Dream Thief coming at you. Punctual Blast. Patrol uh, Signaler. Aerial Ophris, Fang Skulkin, Spirit, or Suture Spirit, one and a white. This guy is sleeping and he's injured, and the spirit's coming to heal them. Flying and regenerate target creature for any combination of three black or white. It's a 1 1. That's kind of cool. Save your creature. Noxious Hatchling, Soul Reap. Got Fang Skulkin, got a Altar Golem, seven generic, Trample. Uh, star Star. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures in play. Uh, it has Vigilance. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, doesn't untap during control. So untap, set, not Vigilance. Tap five untapped creatures you control. Untap it. Weird. You got a Paralic Reveler. Uh, three any combination of black and... Uh, three in any combination of three black and white. Each player returns creatures... Uh, each creature card and his your graveyard to play with a negative one, negative one counter on it. That's That's a powerful card. Indigo Fairy. Crinker Abomination. Ophris. What is this? Belligerent Hatchling. First Strike. Comes into play with four negative one, negative one counters on it. Play red spell or white spell. Remove those counters with first strike as well. Crumbling Ashes. Crazy looking art. Many of your upkeep destroy target creature with a negative one, negative one counter on it. One in a black. If you can put negative one counters on stuff, that's awesome. Battle Mage Mimic. One, a red and a white creepy looking face 2-1 whenever you play a spell that both red and white it becomes a 4-2 and gains first strike till end of turn wild gift of deity creepy looking creature fire at will punctual blast again catch riders being of your upkeep return a permanent control to his owner's hand so always got to keep bouncing stuff gift of deity noggle rack sack again kithkin spell duster looks like i got another rare from um Rikitty Masks. Spontaneous Generation. Looks like there's some, like, uh, slug, not slugs, what are they, like, leeches that are coming right at this guy. This guy's got, like, a little bit of scythe slashing him away by Alan Palak. Three and a green. Uh, put a 1-1 green spawn creature token to play for each card in your hand. Got seven cards in your hand. Make seven. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Got Singe. One red. Does one damage to target creature. That creature becomes black until end of turn. Weird, changes the color of it too. Wonder what that could be useful for. Got the leaf collar, rag dealer from Kamigawa. Love Kamigawa. Love the art from something Kamigawa. Just beautiful. It's like shaman is in the forest, just burning their sage. So beautiful. 
got gut wrenched Oni. Got the storm. Got candles glow. One in a white. Beautiful. Nominal will. Rag dealer again. Oh wow, that's really cool. Uh, got Unktaki the Cloud Keeper. Comes into play tapped. It's a rare land from Kamigawa. Tap, pay two life, add two mana to your, uh, to your mana pool. Spend this only to play legendary spells. Interesting. Bizarre land. <laughs> uh, let's go here. Got Angelic Page from 8th edition. Some 8th edition rares coming on. These cards are super clean. Super crisp too. Not too warped. Fertile Ground. Got Magma Vein. There we go. For some Odyssey. 2 and a red. Enchantment. Red. Sacrifice and land. Magma Vein does 1 damage to each creature without flying. Beautiful. Skull Fracture. Great card. Discard a card from his or her hand. And flashback for 3 and a black. Knocking their skulls. Clunk. Got Aegis of Honor. 1 uh, white enchantment. 1 the next time an instant or sorcery. Spell would deal damage to you this turn. That spell deals damage to its controller instead. That's awesome. If someone does a shock to you, pay one. Do the shock to them. Ooh, Ground Seal. That's a great card. One and a green. Ground Seal comes into play. Draw a card. Cards in graveyards can't be target of spells or abilities. Rare from Odyssey. One of my favorite sets, to be honest. Stocking Bloodsucker. Four and two black. Another rare creature vampire. It's a four, four with flying. One in a black. Discard a card from your hand. Gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. Pump it up with some card discard. Mystic Penitent. Temporal Spring. Put Tucker Permit on the top of his owner's library. The Spring coming out from the ground. Blasting the Sky Away by John Matson. Beautiful multicolor border. Love these old border foils. So beautiful. Garard's Verdict. Consume Strength. Remember this card. One, a black and a green. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Another target creature gets negative two, negative two until end of turn. Glade Gnar. Beautiful looking creature. It's like a beast, elk, dinosaur hybrid. Five and a green. When you're, whenever a player plays a blue spell, gets plus two, plus two, two on a turn. It's a four, four. Got Quagmire Druid. This is one of the only black cards I know that can destroy an enchantment, but you gotta play green to make it work. That's so cool. Got Pacifism. Got Naturalize. Beautiful art. Got a Anarchist. Got Raging Goblin. Got Wirewood Channeler. It's hard to tell the rarity on these sets. I think it's uncommon. Three and a green. Tap at X mana of any one color to your mana pool where X is the number else in play. Great for elf tribal. Really great for elf tribal. Got a, got a path mage going on. Corpse harvester. Look at this crazy looking art. Zombie wizard for three and two black. One in a black sacrifice a creature. Search your library for a zombie card and a swamp card. Reel them, put them in your hand, and shuffle your library. That's great. Tutor up some land and zombies. It's like a black hole by Mark Tennant. Beautiful art. Got Vile Deacon. She's massaging his head and he's not liking it. Got Ghastly Remains. Three black. Amplify Zombie Creature. It's a zero zero. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if it's in your graveyard, you would pay three. Return Ghastly Remains to your hand. That's cool. Oh wow, some cold snap stuff. Look at that. Uh, Oran Yeti. Rhyme Wine Task Mage. Cutlass Ghoul. Bothofian Frostwalker, Goblin Rhyme Runner. There's a whole lot of cards in this set. This is such an amazing foil collection. Surging Might. Beautiful art. Martyr of the Frost, Blowing the Snow, or Blowing Flowers. Keldino Keldorian Javanir. Got a Zombie Knight. I think that's an uncommon. Surging Flame. Beautiful card. Definitely by Ron Spencer. One and a red. Ripple 4. Deals, four dam deals uh, 2 damage to target creature or player. Got a Rhyme Wine Cryptomancer. Chiromancer. Look at this crazy beast. It's like the Abominable Snowman met an octopus. Four and a blue. When it becomes blocked, you may draw two cards. It's a 3-3. Three, three. That's a great card. You can you attack with it. They really don't want to block it. I mean, look at that thing. No one wants to block it. Who drew this? By Zoltan Boros and Gabor Szynski. Into the North. Looks like I got a rare... Rim scale dragon five and two red flying two in a snow tap target creature and put an ice counter on it. Creatures with ice counters on them don't untap their controls, untap step. It's a five five and you can freeze creature instead of fire breath. He's got ice breath, beautiful deep fire elemental four a black and a red to four four x x one destroy target artifact creature with converted mana cost x. That's cool. Baldovian rage coming at you. These piles are getting pretty big. 
I got Jester Scepter. Wow, that's cool. A rare artifact. Three generic artifact. When it comes into play, remove the top five cards of target player's library from the game face down. You may look at those cards as long as they remain uh, removed from the game. Two and tap. Put a, removed, put a card removed from the game with Jester Scepters into owner's graveyard. Counter. Target spell if it has the same uh, name as that card. That's cool. So if they play a spell that you exiled and you remove it with the two and tap, you can just counter it. That's an interesting card. Okay, got another rare. We got Heldrin, Rhyme, Rhymewind, uh, Rimwind Master, four and a blue, legendary creature, human wizard, two tap, return target permanent to its owner's hand, place ability only if you control four or more snow permanents, three, three. Look at that. Carplusion Minotaur actually opened up an Ice Age pack. Oh, not Ice Age. Uh, Cold Snap, and this was the rare I got. Conclusion Minotaur, 2 and 2 red. Community upkeep, flip a coin. So you just keep flipping coins. Whenever you win a coin flip, deals 1 damage to target creature or player. Whenever you lose a coin flip, deals 1 damage to target creature or player of opponent's choice. It's 3 3. Looks like I got another rare. Void Ma, 4 and 2 black. Trample. If another creature would be put into a graveyard from play, remove it from the game instead. Put a card remove with the game uh, f- f- with Moidva into its owner's graveyard. Gets plus 2, plus 2 until until it's 4 5. Cool. Got a swine holding some sort of coal. Coal hauler swine. Very bizarre. Cleansing beam. Judgment carved. Prismatic strands. Two and a white. This is such a beautiful art. There's like a rainbow veins coming in and breaking up this battle. They don't want them to fight anymore. Prevent all damage. The source of a color of your choice would deal this turn. Flashback. Tap, tap an untapped white creature control. Great flashback cost. Just tap a creature. Got a... Anudin Swarm Snapper. What a crazy looking card. Caught a bat in his hand. Crazy looking hands. May block as well as flying. One in a green. May block an additional creature uh, this turn. It's one four for two in a green from Judgment. Got a Null Mage Advocate. This crazy lizard guy is literally burning this other guy's uh, wand. Turning it to dust. Tap. Return two target cards in your opponent's graveyard to his or her hand. Destroy tower. Artifact enchantment. It's a two three. Looks like uh, some Kamigawa block again. Uncommon. In, Indibent Samurai. Looks like these flip cards. It's an uncommon. Got a Baduka pupil, pupil, and it turns into Ikeda who topples oaks. Cool. Those flip cards are always interesting. Ooh, this is an uncommon. I'll set these ones. Since those ones are different, I'll set those in here. Cunning Bandit. And then another one right here. Uh, Azumika. A Treachery Incarnate. Another one of the same ones right here. The one who topples. Something's got to be up. One of these has got to be some sort of promo. The foiling on this one is way different. There's a star in front of it. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Aurobarbs. Aurobarbs. I remember that card. Uh, got Patron of the Nizumi. Five and two black rat offering. You can play this card anytime. You can play an instant by sacrificing rat and paying the difference in mana cost between this and the sacrifice rat mana cost. Include color. Whenever a permanent is put into an opponent's graveyard, that player loses one life. It's a 6-6, six, six, and you can help pay for it with a rat. Interesting. Rats will help make it grow by Kev Walker. Creepy looking, just like a f- mouth. All right. There we go. Got a... Jade Leech. Two and two green. Green sp- All right. And the next card I'm on is Jade Leeches. Two and two green. Green spells you play cost green more to play. Very bizarre. 5-5 five, five for 4 mana. Maybe they think that's too powerful, so they had to put a downside to it. But really, if you're going to be playing this in a green deck, you probably don't want it. Cool art, though. It's like a leech with like some green like glow to it, and there's like a guy literally stabbing it on the back. They don't like it by John Howie. Got a Benished Trappler. Crazy looking art by Ken Mayers Jr. One in a white. Got Razorfin, Gr- Razorfoot Griffin. Got the Razor Feet. Oh, wow, that's cool. This is from uh, Urza's, uh, what is this, Urza's Legacy, I believe. Shivan Phoenix, 4 and 2, uh, red, flying. When it's put into a graveyard from play, return Shivan Phoenix to owner's hand. It's a 3-4. Wow, that's a really old foil right there. Oh, wow, Urza's uh, Destiny, too. Orza Saga. These are the Urza's block. Got Compost, 1 and a green. Enchantment, whenever a black card is put into, uh, into one of your opponent's graveyard, you may draw a card. It's an enchantment. Crazy. It's like a compost pit got mushrooms and flowers by douglas shoulder beautiful the thunder staff three generic if thunder staff is untapped and a creature would deal combat damage to you prevent one of that damage two and a tap attacking creatures get plus one plus zero until end of turn 
Shocked by Lightning by Akaja Fo Folio. Got okay. Echoing Ruin, Incinerate from 10th edition, some 10th edition cards, Pincer Beetles, Civic Wayfinder, Festering Goblin. Love this card. When it's put into a graveyard, you can play a uh, tiger creature. It gets negative one, negative one till end of turn. Got Afflict. Ouch. Got Robe of Mirrors. Council of Sortami. Cloud Elemental. Beautiful art. Love the art on that. Fantastic. I think I opened up a 10th edition thing the other day. Beautiful card in it. Two and a blue. Flying. Can block only creatures of flying. to two, three. Semiot Healer. Benelish Knight. Sky Weaver. Beautiful. Got Knight of Dusk. Got Threaten. Got Luminescent. Beautiful. Got Mantis Engine. It's like an artifact creature, insect, a praying mantis. That's a robot. Five generic, two. Gains flying talent on turn, two. Gains first strike talent on turn. So three, three. With flying, it can be first strike. Got Might of the Oak. It's an instant target creature. Gets plus seven, plus seven till end of turn. Guess what I'm going to plant? Guess where I'm going to plant this? He literally picked up a tree and he's walking with it, running away with his tongue sticking out of his mouth by Greg Staples. Three and a green. Beautiful art. Seventh edition uh, foils are absolutely fantastic. Balduvian. Barduvian Barbarians, 1 and 2 red. It's a 3-2 creature. Vikings, rawr. Got Vivid Meadow. Comes into play tapped with two charge counters on it. Adds white to your mana pool. That's cool. Uh, tap, remove a charge counter from it. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Fun card. Oh, this is a uh, wrong pile. The land pile. Got Oaken Brawler. Bogart Harb. Harbinger. Look at this crazy looking lizard goblin guy with a snail on his head and energy in his hand. What a silly card. It's a 2 1 for 2 and a black. Who drew this? By Steve Prescott. Fun art. When it comes into play, you may search your library for a goblin card, reveal it, then shuffle your library, put that card on top of it. So, tutor up a goblin. Got Moon Glove Extract, 3 generic. Um, sacrifice it, deals 2 damage to target creature or player. Got Waven's Run Vanquisher. Fun. Alright, let's do this one right here. Got Vagrant Plow Beasts. Might of Alara. Oh, is this Shards of Alara? Alara Reborn? One of those. Suicidal Charge. Brutal. Blood Hall Ooze. One red. Beginning of your upkeep. If you control black permanent, put a 1 1 counter on it. Beginning of your upkeep. If you control the green permanent, you may put a 1 1 counter on it. So if it's in a black and green deck and red deck, put two counters on it every turn. 1 1. Got Ashen's Favor. Frog Tosser Banneret. What a silly art. Love the art on this set. So much fun. It's like some creepy looking goblin guy by Ralph uh, Horsley. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and a black. Not even sure what's going on. It looks like he's got a bunch of junk or his body's falling apart. Goblin with haste. Goblin spells and rogue spells you play. Cost one less to play. That's awesome. Goblin rogue. Great for tribal. Shard volley. Got a tree folk spells and shaman spells. One less to play. It's a 1-3 for uh, Bosk Banneret. Rise of the Vinesteed. Kithkin Zepernot, Stony Brook Schoolmaster, the teacher teaching their class. Uh, Belly Rush Banneret, Moth Dust Changeling, Fence Cleek, hmm. Fire Juggler, Juggling That Fire, Flood Chaser, beautiful art, crazy looking Kraken thing. Comes into play with 6 1 1 counters on it. Uh, can't attack unless controlling player controls an island. Blue, remove a woman counter from it. Target land becomes island till end of turn. That's cool. So you can actually use uh, its counters to remove them, pay a blue, and attack by making one of your opponent's islands. Lands an island. Got a Brent Bombardist. This is an interesting card. Ron Spencer drew this art. Like it. Throwing down his potions from his Zeppelin. Stony Book Banneret. Uh, Sting Mogil. Mogi? Elemental Badger Lizard Creature. Bizarre. Comes to play two counters on it. Remove a counter. Destroy target artifact or land. Got Fester Creeper. It's a Fester. Lurk Errant. Elvish Warrior. 2 green for 2 3. Got some 10th edition stuff. Illusionary Spirit. Um, what is this? Another promo pack? Dread Warlock. This one is like a. a pack. I'm not really sure what this is. But there's a Twin Claw. Actually, there's a lot of Twin Claws right here. What is this? This is the card in there with Double Strike. Two, a combination of red or white and a green. So two, four with Double Strike. And then you got this weird pack. I'm not sure what's in here. If you know what's in here, let me know. I'm probably going to look it up after. Really no idea what's in there. 
got Leyline of the Meek. Ooh, speaking of ley lines, those are those just came out again, I believe. Two and two white. If Leyline of the Meek is in your opening hand, you may g- begin in the game with it. Uh, creature tokens get plus one, plus one. Your tokens get stronger. Got Smog Steed Rider. I'm going to set these commons over here, actually. And the uncommons over here. And the rares over here. Let's start some new piles. Man, there's a lot of cards here. Got Smoke Smog Steed Rider. Uncommon. I feel like these ones are like promos or something like that. They're super, super shiny. Gru Guild Mage. Got a uh, Pillory of Sleepless. Gru Signet. Two generic. One tap. Add red and green to your mana pool. That's really cool, actually. That's a, that's a cool card. Soul of the Faultless Defender. When the Faultless is deal combat damage, you gain life equal to that uh, that much, and attacking player loses that much life. It's like life link, but your opponent loses life too. Blind Hunter. Gru Guild Mage again. Shadow Lancer. Absolver Thrall. Uh, f- uh, Fencer's M- Mage Mark. Lineheart Marvick Maverick. Crypt Wailing. I've seen that card before. Creepy looking art. Wow. Uh, Beastmaster Mage Mark. Got a Skybreaker. Wild Seas. Poison Belly Ogre. He's got a poison in his belly. Four and a black. Whenever another creature comes into play, its controller loses one life. It's a 3 3. Hmm. Dagger Claw Imp. Can't block with flying. Shrieking gro- uh, Grotesque. Hmm. Thunderheads. Leap of Flame, red and a blue. Replicate for red and blue. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains flying. And first strike till end of turn. Flying and first strike, cool. Wild Size. You got a Skybreaker. Goblin. Uh, Fleece Manter. Look at this guy. He's got a crazy hat. He's got like a potion he's drinking on his head. He's got a, a monocle. I'm not sure what that is to help him see or hear. Goblin Wizard, sacrifice it. You may change target uh, of target instant or sorcery spell. 2-2. Two, two. Reverse or change the a uh, shock. Wild Canter. That's a fun card. Sacrifice it at one mana of any mana to your mana pool. Cool card. Blood Scale Prowler. The Throw. Necromancers. Mage Mark. Leap of Flame again. You got a land. Um, Nivix. Avery of Firemind. Looks like a cityscape. Tap to add one to your mana pool. Two, a blue and a red. Remove top card of your library from the game. Until your next turn, you may play this card if it's an instant or sorcery. Interesting. Fence. Mage Mark. Frazzle, counter target, non blue spell, just frazzled. Conjurer's ban. White and a black, name a card until your next turn. The name card can't be played, draw a card. It's be cool if you have information to know what card. They're just walking by, head on their hand. Is that Urza? I think so. Repeat Ventures. Restless Bones. Pethrodox. Got Gruel Turf. Comes into play tapped. When it comes into play, return the land you control to its owner's hand. Add red or green to your mana pool. Cool. Gruel Scrapper. Gruel Guild Mage again. Quite a bunch of those Guild Mages. He's got Bastion of Courage, some Fifth Dawn. It looks like three generic. You may play it anytime you can play an instant. He's got Sunburst. Remo- remove a charge counter from it. Target creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. <laughs> cool. Got S- a Synod and Centron. Four generic. Whenever you control no artifacts, sacrifice it. It's a 4 4. No other artifacts, okay. And let's just go this pile right here. So you got Vitalizing Winds. Eight and a green, super expensive instant by Jeff Easley. Could definitely make you win the game because it has creatures you control. Get plus seven, plus seven till end of turn. You attack with a couple one ones, and then uh, they don't block because they think they're only going to lose like three life. Then you pump them all up with plus seven, plus seven. Attack with three eight eights. Just, just get it done. Got Ristic Cave. Wow, prophecy right here. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool unless a player pays one. Fun card. Got Sword Dancer. One and a white. Cool. Got Dawn of the Dead from Torment. Two and three black. At the beginning of your upkeep, lose a life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you return a target creature card from your graveyard to play. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Remove the card. Remove uh, it from the game at the end of turn. That's crazy. So lose a life at the beginning of your upkeep. At the beginning of your upkeep, take a card from your graveyard, put it into play. You can attack with it, then it just instantly sacrificed. That's a crazy card. Possessed uh, Centaur. Two and two green. Threshold, and it gets plus one, plus one, and black, and has two and a black tap. Destroy target green creature, 3-3. Three, three. Got a Bather the Scout, one and two red. 
All barbarians get plus one, plus one. Great for barbarian, tribal. It's a dwarf legend, two, two. And you can pump it up for red. Got a, two of those, actually. Got a nostalgic dreams. These cards are super great condition, too. Two green. As addition to play this card, discard X cards from your hand and return X target creature cards from grave with your hand. Remove it from the game. Hmm. These cards don't have much curling at all. They really don't curl too much. Got a wandering twig. Really like the art. Puts you in the in the seat of this person cracking the twig. One artifact. One sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shuffle your library. Looks like I got vivid meadow again. A couple of those. Got sentry oak. Got a giant. Got a neck snap. Crazy art right here. Literally, this mere folk person just walked by them, snapped their neck, destroy target attacking or blocking creature for three and a white. Uh, whale grabber, apothecary. Go to the well to get your medicine. What does it do? One and a white. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to tapped, uh, target tap, mere folk, or kithkin creature this turn. For mere folk, a kithkin tribal. Two, three, for four and a white. Give your creature double strike with battle mastery. Jagged Scar, Archers, Glitleaf, Ambusher, Woodlands, uh, Guidance, Warren, Scourge, Elf, Wandering the Wastelands, Protection from Goblins, a 1-1, one, 1-1 one, one in the green. When you walk the Wastelands, you gotta be protected from Goblins. Leaf Glider, Ed Green's your mana pool for 1 in the green, to 2-1, Elf, Druid. Battle Wand, Oak, Skirmall, Crazy Looking Art right here by Pete Ventures, Horrid's Greed, The uh, Lies a la Scarblade. Foot Bottom Feast. There's a feast. Reminds me of the Lion King when they eat all those grubs or something like that. Got the goblins ringing the dinner bell saying, Come on, grubs ready. You got a skull with a candle burn on it. Put any number of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library and draw a card for two and a black. Cool. Got a squeaking pie sneak. Hang, hanging out in the log, hiding. Soul Bright Flamekin. What is this? Huge ability. One in red for a 2 1 creature and has two. Target creature gains trample until the end of turn. If this is the third time this ability is resolved this turn, you may add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 red tier mana pool. Wow, so if you pay 6 mana, you get 2 for free. Cool. Goat, Napper, Ron Spencer drew some fun art here of someone stealing a goat. This goblin stealing a goat from the go uh, the elf people. He's trying to hit him with his staff. 2 in a red, it's 2 2. When it comes into play, Untap target goat and gain control of it until the end of turn. It gains haste until the end of turn. Super funny card. Literally only control a goat. I don't even know if there's many goat cards in this game. Got Flamekin, Blade Whirler, Inner Flame, Acolyte, uh, Giant's Ire, Blind Spot Giant, and Elderly Giant, Giant Harbor, Har Harbinger, Spell Sputter Spire, hmm. Marrow Commerce. Mole Drifter. Reminds me of Mystic or more of this card. Uh, Ergo. S. R. Erison. Er. Er. Not sure. Aquited Will. Glimmer Dust. Nap. Taking a nap. A giant. There's literally someone walking on his head. Got big old fangs in a tree. Oh, he's using the tree as a pillow. Check creature doesn't untap during its controls. Untap step. Put a freeze on it. Steambird. Uh, Aquatics. Ring Skipper, got the little fairy, fairy wizard, got Midnight Charm, got Melancholy, he looks real sad, this guy, looks like another one of those, got Melancholy, got Shivan Meteor, this is a crazy card, deals 13 damage to target creature for 3 and 2 red, and has suspend 2 for 1 and 2 red, so you gotta wait 2 turns after that, got a Pole Sliver, this card, uh, the art definitely never makes me think of Sliver, makes me think of Leaves, 2 and a white, all Slivers have... Two and attack, regenerate target sliver. Got a reflex sliver. All slivers have haste. Beautiful. Battering sliver. All slivers have trample. Shade of Trokari. Tidewalker. Cool art. Got a mythologist or mycologist. One and a white at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a spore counter on it. Remove three spore counters from it. Put a 1 1 green sprawling creature token into play. Sacrifice a sprawling gain two life. It's a 2 2 that can make tokens. Got suffix uh, centaur. What is this? This is a uh, interesting arm. Ovenize, one and a blue. You got the goat right here. You see the soldier's he helmet right there. He turned into the goat. Target creature loses abilities and becomes a zero one till end of turn. Fun. Prodigal, pyromancer. Boom. Just a couple, couple little piles left. Got a hedge troll. I think this is some sort of. I think these ones are all some sort of 
promo cards. Not really sure. Hedge Troll, then a bunch of the Gru Guild Mage again. There's quite a few of the Gru Guild Mage. Got a Earwig Squad 3 and 2 Black. Prowl 2. And a Black. When it comes into play, if its Prowl was paid, search target opponent's library three cards, remove them from the game. That player shuffles into their library. 5 3, remove some cards from the library. Another promo. Some more of these promos. Wow. Quite a bunch of those ones. Got a Spite Ballos. A creature Elemento. It's a 6 1 for 5 and a red. Big old mouth on it. Got it. Gens Tactics. Nightshade Schemers. The Fairy Wizards. We got Kinship at the beginning of your upkeep. We look at the top card of your library. If it shares a creature type with it, you may reveal it. If you do, each opponent loses two life. Great for tribal. Stomping Slabs. Rolling down the hill. Hopefully they bounce over the little hut. The Goblin Guy looks very scared. We cross the path. Hunting Triad. They're searching. They're looking. And they'll find it. Put three. One. Green L4 creature tokens into play. There's three of them. And then reinforce three for three and a green. Discard this card. Put three 1 1 counters on target creature. Cool. I like that. Uh, Orchard Warden. It is a tree person. Tree folk shaman. Four or two green. Whenever another tree folk creature comes into play under control, gain life equal to that creature's toughness. It's a 4 6. Great for tree folk shaman. Wow. This is a beautiful card right here. Three generic. Tribal Artifact. It's a wizard equipment. The Tribal card. Equip creature adds whenever you draw a card. This creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying till end of turn. And four, draw a card. Whenever a wizard comes into play, you may attach Diviner's Wand to it. That's cool. Great for Wizard Tribal. Looks like another Tribal card for uh, Rogue. Equip creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has Shroud. Whenever a Rogue comes into play, equip it to it. It's equipped for cost for a non-Rogue. is three, two generic. Definitely want to play it for uh, Tribal. Got a Thornbite Staff for Shaman Tribal. Two generic. Equip creature gets two tap. This creature deals one damage to target creature or player. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, untap this creature. That's cool. Whenever a Shaman creature comes into play under control, attach it to it. That's cool. Got the Bowmaster. Frog Toster Banneret again. Game Trail Changeling. The Changeling. The Moose Person. And then the Baby. It's like, are you my mom? No. Looks like you got a rare. Uh... Food Killers, a verdict, 4 and 2 white. You gain 10 life. If you have more life than opponent, put a 5-5 five, five, uh, white giant warrior token into play. Gain life and make a token, probably. Got a friend, Fiend Deep Summoner, 4 and a black. Tree Folk Shaman, 3-5. Tap up to 2 target swamps. Each become 3-5 Tree Folk Warrior creatures in addition to their other types until end of turn. Wow, turn 2 swamps into creatures. You can see this art, Turning Trees into People by Jesper Edgesing. Beautiful. Just got a couple more piles left. Got this one and the one next to it. And then that is the whole collection. Got Agony Warp again. Got Sunseed, uh, Nerf Nerf Runner, Hissing Iguana. Art's kind of muddled. Hard to see what's going on there. Just a red iguana with a blue face. Welkin Guide. Dragon's Herald. Calling the Dragons. Got the Astrolabe coming here. Flash, Black Tap, Sacrifice. An Artifact, Draw a Card. Hm. Uh, Carrion Thrasher. Got Cunning Leth, uh, Lethmancer, two and a black. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player discards a card. Hmm. Make some card discard. Two, two. Human Wizard. Got Savage Titan, four and two black. You may sacrifice three artifacts rather than play its mana cost. That's cool. It's pretty expensive. Move, roof three artifact cards in your graveyard from the game. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. That's awesome. So pretty much you sack three ar artifacts. They go to your graveyard. Once it's on the battlefield, if it dies, remove those three artifacts from your graveyard. Put this back to your hand. That's awesome. Got a Ooze Gardener again. I got this one earlier, I believe. Got Soul Fire. Angel's Herald. Marble Chalice. Two and a white. Tap, gain a life. Equ uh, Executioner's Capsule. I had that one earlier. Goblin Mountaineer. Resounding Scream. Look at that crazy cycling cost. Uh, target player discards a card at random. When you cycle it, target player discards two cards at random. That's a huge amount for that cycling cost, though. The capsule again. I'll set this by the other capsule. Magma spray. Spray. Sanguine surge. Agony warp. Gut stride. Uh, exuberant. Bull. Uh, Coridon. Call to heal. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Its controller draws a card. Elvish visionary. When it comes into play, draw cards. A 1-1 one, one for 1 in the green. Classic card. Thunder thrash elder. A Gailey, uh, Gallard, it's a crocodile. Oh, wow, very thin-nosed crocodile. Three and a green. Shroud, whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, you may put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. It's a 1-1. One -one. 
and it eats the corpses. Obelisk of Jund. Tapped, add a black, red, or green to your mana pool. 3 3. Beautiful foiling on this card. Got a Great Bow Dovin. Doyen. 4 and a green. Other archer creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 for archer tribal. 2 4. Whenever an archer you control deals damage to a creature, the archer deals that much damage to that creature's controller. That's awesome. Even if they block, it deals damage to that person as well. Got a Weirding Shaman, one in a black. Got a, They shaved right down the middle of their head. Interesting fingers, really long fingers, like a knife. And they has got a staff in the hand. Goblin Shaman, three in a black. Sacrifice a goblin, put two 1-1 one, one black goblin rogue creature tokens into play. It's a 2-1 for one in a black. Hmm. Got Sanctimonium, 8th edition. Serpent Warrior. Wow, so a whole bunch of cards. And this is the last little pile. Such an amazing collection right here, to be honest. So happy with it. So much fun. Love these older foils. Needle Pack Spider. You don't see this stuff too often. In a collection of this quantity, you don't see it that too much. At least I haven't. We've got Cradle to Grave. Melancholy, the sad guy. The Reflex Sliver. Give your slivers haste. Midnight Charm again. Wishful Thinking. Joden's Avenger. Look at the foiling on that. It's a 5 and a blue. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Pays 0. Until end of turn, gets negative 1 and 1 and gains choice of double strike protection from red vigilance or shadow. That's awesome. You just give it one of those abilities. But it also gets negative 1, negative 1. Needle Pack Spider. What is this? Fiad Seer. 1 in a green. Draw a card, then reveal it. If it's a land card. If it isn't a land card, discard it. That's pretty cool. But if it's not a land card, you discard it. Fire Fright Mage. Oop. Dust Corona, hard to breathe that dust Corona, Veiling Oddity, got the healing leaves, this lady is hurt real bad, the leaves are swirling around her, giving her energy, one green instant, choose one, target player gains through life, prevent the next three damage, or, uh, that's it, <laughs> gain through life or prevent damage, giant, dust wasp, the insect, cradle to grave, mana, tith, this is a great card, uh, it's a counter spell. Uh, white counter spell, one white counter target spell. This controller plays one. Can you believe it? Cool. Piracy charm, one blue. Choose one target creature gains island walk until end of turn, or target creature gets plus two negative one until end of turn, or target player discards a card. Great card. This set is fun because it put abilities that usually aren't with that color on those color cards. Got the Drake, Scribe Ranger, Flash Flying Protection from Blue, Return to Force you Control to its owner's hand, Untap target creature. Play it only once. One in a green for a 1-1 fairy. Ember Gale. Silk Bind Fairy. This is an interesting symbol right here. You think this is the tap symbol? Nope. This is the untap symbol. So you can attack with it. Then you, uh, then it has one and in combination of white or blue. Untap to tap target creature. That's so weird. One in three. There's not many cards that I've seen or even own with the untap symbol. This might be my only one. And it's two and a white or blue to play. I got Rage Reflection. Creatures you control. Have double strike. Four and two red. Great card. Uh, poison the well. Oh no, poisoning the well. Two two black or two red. Destroy target land. Poison the wheel. Um, just like a little dot on the L. There we go. Deals two damage to that land's controller. Got chain breaker. Breaking them chains to scarecrow. Comes into play with two counter. Negative one counters on it. Three tap. Remove a negative one counter from target creature. Hmm, cool. You can remove a negative one counter from cards with persist or something like that. That's awesome. Blistering Dyflin. Got Gloom Mace. Just stabbed by the ether. Scuzzleback Martyrus with Persist. Old Gasselback. Go Gast Bark. Three and a combination of two white or green. Three six. Tree Folk Warrior. Beautiful art by Thomas M. Baxa. Got two of those. Uh, Nivius Wisps. Ember Strike Duo. Beautiful foiling on this. Kithkin Shield there. Uh, Bark Shell Blessing, Incapacitated Brute, another Scarecrow, becomes all colors until end of turn, so 3-2, cool. Another untap one, the Fairy, this one feels very, this one feels different, very thick. Ether Throw, Ether Toe, Spell Siphon, Safe Hold Elite, Mercatus Recap, look at the crazy eyes on that guy in the beak. When it comes into play, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature player. It has persist for two, two red, or two black. Got Hollow Sage. That's cool. When it becomes untapped, you may have target player discard a card. It's a 2-2 two, two for three and a black. Looking werewolf. Werewolf creature. It's like a werewolf merefolk. Merefolk wizard, it says. Flow of ideas. Uh, grief Tyrant. Uh, Mad Blind Mountain. 
tap to red your mana pool, comes into play tap, red tap, search your library, or shuffle your library, place ability, only if you go two or more red permanents. Wow, you can just shuffle your library. That's bizarre. If you play with the top card of your library revealed, that might be good. Sinking, feeling, medic runner, strip bear, torrent of souls, rawr, thistle down duo, corrosive mentor. Look at the folding on this one. Two and a black. Black creature control have wither. They deal damage to creature and form negative one, negative one counters. It's a one, three. Great for black uh, decks. Uh, bloodshed fever. L uh, Lotch Corrigan. You can pump it up too with either black or blue. It's a 3-4. It's a 1-1. One, one. Spirit. Beautiful. Represent Mentor. Reps Leldon Mentor. Well, look at the foiling in this guy. Crab Apple Cohort. It's a crab apple tree. 4 and a green. Gets plus 1 plus long as I can control another green creature. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Bribery Cohort. Uh, Wim Wander. Got Scuttle Mage. Three generic. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Target creature becomes a color of your choice. Uh, color or colors of your choice until in turn. Cool. Make it multicolor. Trip noose. Two. Two tap target creature. Repeal. Uh, repel intruders. Kin scare. Harpoonist. Cinder bones. Mercy killings. Two and a green or white. Target creature's controller. Sacrifice it. Then put uh, X and X1. Green and white elf warrior creature tokens in play were actually that creature's power. Interesting. Got glamour spinners. And then the last card I got is Scuttle Mutt. Three generic. Add one to your mana pool. Uh, and then also change the color of target permit to one or more colors. Anyways, such a fun collection right here. Got a huge pile of commons. A huge pile of uncommons. A nice big pile of rares. Got an interesting pile of, um, let me just kind of set these aside, of uh, kind of promos going on right here. It's got a bunch of promos, so a bunch of Malgafors. Interesting packs right here. I'm really not sure what they are. I got eight of these Malgafors. I got like, I think a Hebrew card or Arabic. I'm not quite sure. A uh, bunch of these. I did get some interesting uh, packs. Looks like some full art one. Looks like there's two cards in here. And I got this card right here. I'm not sure what the ease is. I'm curious what is in here. If you know, please let me know. So I did get a bunch of promo cards. I think these ones are promo as well. Just because they have a very different kind of foiling to them. If you can kind of just see. They have a very different foiling. And they do have a star down there. I'm not sure if they came from sort of, sort of box set or something like that. I did get quite a big pile of foil rares. Just a bunch of rares from a whole bunch of sets. Some cold snap going on. Beautiful art on some of these. Morning 2. Looks like some time shifted. Uh, what is this? A new Pyrexia? or uh, No, that's Future Sight. Some Ravnica. Just some awesome cards. Shadow more going on. Just a whole bunch of rares right here. So much fun to open these up and check them out with you all. And I did get a really nice pile of some really older rares as well. This is the reason why I wanted to buy this lot. Just these older rares are so beautiful and I think that they're so wonderful. Just a couple really old ones. I think these are the first sets that uh, Foils came out in. Urza's Block. Just fantastic these older sets. And if some of these are uh, older rares as well. Just beautiful. Just so much fun to open. Love how they had the little like glint of the star kind of shooting right there. Letting you know that it was uh, a foil premium card. Got pirate ship going on. Just so many beautiful cards right here. So much fun to open this up and check it out with you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it is a longer one, but I had so much fun opening up, going through them all. Just checking out the art, having so much fun with this collection. So much fun. Anyways, I hope you're all doing wonderful today. Thanks for stopping by. I just want to say I hope you made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And keep on keeping on. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Stay hydrated out there. Summer's still going on. Enjoy the last couple days of your summer. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you on the next one.